Don't you think it would be convenient and helpful if air conditioning automatically came on when you think the room is too warm without needing to use a remote control? If the trunk and doors of your car opened when you think about opening them as you approach the vehicle with both hands full carrying things? And if robots could help you when you think about multitasking around the house? The technology to control machines by human thought alone is called Brain Machine Interface or BMI. And researchers around the world are actively conducting research on this technology. In May 2006, Honda and ATR successfully developed a BMI technology which utilizes a functional MRI scanner and achieved the first success in the world to control a robot at speeds close to real time by decoding brain activities without electrode array implants in the brain or special training of the user. We succeeded in capturing the slight changes in the human brain that occur while a person moves a hand, sending out commands for the robot hand to make the same movement as the person. And now, BMI technology has achieved a further advancement. The user only needs to wear measuring sensors on his or her head to be ready to use this BMI. Let's take a look at how our experiment was conducted. For this experiment, new BMI was used to control Ashimo, Honda's humanoid robot. One of the participants in this experiment picks one of the four cards and shows it only to the user. The user imagines moving the body part written on the card without making any physical movement. Changes in both brain waves and cerebral blood flow are measured simultaneously. The resulting data are analyzed on a real-time basis to achieve a result. Ashima moved its right hand, and the card picked by the participant says, Right hand. The image drawn in the head of the user was communicated to the machine. The world's highest level accuracy rate of over 90% was achieved in the tests. What do you think? The research on brain machine interface technology will continue and the possibilities for this new man-machine interface will be further expanded.